YouTube fans, this is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play play of Dangan Ropa. Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder kit. Huh? Well. There's a girl named Girly who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Um. Girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat just like mine. Hey, hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? And I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you probably need to solve the game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, I started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. I'm not some g girl gamer who will talk about video games she's never beaten. So what I'm supposed to do is actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. For now, I should focus on this investigation. It's okay to say that this metal patch is actually the murder weapon, right? The loss of life, it's as if she's a shell. This is really the interject my hero I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I can't still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to a high-spirited my hero. No way I can just stand. I slapped both my hands onto my cheek and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru trying to tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor, which streaks as if she crawled through them. So she used all of her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her final breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Hmm? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Maybe party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? Huh? That mask! Have you seen this? Sunrich Esperido. It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90. Anyway, it has a viewership of over 90? It cannot be! Could it be? What does Nash play place next to the body? Yeah, it would. That true? Could it be? What? I am sorry! Please give me some time. Some unknown. Right? Sonia rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. That's the case. She'll wait until she decides to talk about it. And for Sonia to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. to calm myself a little so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days though, I'm pretty sure there were a larger variety of drinks. Man. Guess I just imagined things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I resolved it on my own, so just drop it. I started it. But compared to last time, I felt like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks with me? That the only drinks left is will look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. There's clues inside the trash. That's what I thought, but there were a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I didn't see anything that looks like a clue. Guess it's not easy, huh? I see. I'll never forget. 
forgive killing. However, when Chiaki seems quite different from her usual self, she must feel very strongly about kill. It's not just Chiaki, there's no way anyone would forgive something like that. I guess you're right. Lots of doors have opened. Last time I came here, it wasn't in deck. It's a little suspicious. You probably investigate here too. Three spaces walked in the closet. There's so much crap on the sh shelves and floors, only one person could stand it. Think about this one. It means it's possible for only one person to stay here. It's a gummy candy! Finding candy on a horror place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the internet, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? There's a lot of stuff jammed on the shelves, even the surfboards and surfboard cases. They're not put away properly. Two boards are stuffed into one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. I guess that's everything inside the closet. from the illustration it looks like it's being repaired or under construction something like that. That's right, the shower is being repaired so water won't come out. But what about hot water? That's impossible too. If the shower is out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry! I'm sorry. Just when I was trying to fix it, my magic stick has taken from me, so I'll never get around to fix it. What does your magic stick have to do with repair? You're so evil! Anyway, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Oh. <laughs> your doubtful ours are telling me you think it's mo my Monokuma's account. You must have read my mind. <laughs> think about what you want of me. I've already given you. Got it? I won't let me, me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should to be able to stand against any kind of decision. I promise I will help you. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh well. Anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of work. I guess I should check the inside. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Damn it! Guess no one's in here. Think, think, think the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. <clears throat> this window, small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. It probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through. I can't seem to take my mind off. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch my hands, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. But if that's the case, if impossible, you go in and out through there. What? Well, are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped. Leave it to me. All right, I got. It. I'll pinch in and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me. The piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pissed and help it. Feels like I'm the one who's pinching and helping. I'll pick you up! If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. It's really into No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, just... <laughs> don't worry, my bandies are clean. Let me see, that's good. Uh, deep side bent over under the window. Oh, she shouted, I kind of jumped onto my shoulders. <laughs> Balance. 
silence sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. Y you you're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. You shouldn't have asked. So, let's see. what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then... It's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep. Now I jumped off my shoulders and flashed it wide grid. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? The problem is how are we able to reach the window? Mm. If I jump, they can't reach it. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, you mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as a sepsual would still be insane. Like... But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh, really? So... Yeah, like... I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? Just that thought. What's difficult to go in and out through the window? I... I never... I even took the time to lend you my wrist. Piss me off. The one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to ditch it. You. Such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my hands. Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, well. Not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. That's pretty much everything I noticed in the shop. Hachime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. These footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey! And as you mentioned, I thought those footprints were strange too. Uh. First, I tried to go in the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side. I couldn't go inside from the roadside door because my whose body was blocking it, right? Hmm. I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel looked like they were belonging to one person. Someone's foot's leaning out of the beach house, huh? It's definitely suspicious. Huh? And she, Keiko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Yeah. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I did not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But, still. but these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the top. Huh? And whose prints? It appears. No mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's up. Is that this is a clue, don't you think? Yeah, it's possible it's an extremely important clue. Guess I finished the best game. There's still not enough. I don't have enough to find the truth. Uh, that again to find out why Mahu got Twilight Syndrome merch. Girl, he was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat, that's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahu. In no time, Wade, that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, it's true, this game theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a. The killer's motive for the killing. 
The mystery must be hidden inside that gate. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. It has grip back. Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Are you done investigating here already? I think I've done finished the best game once. But... Yep. Then let's go. Go. So... You want to know about Twilight Center of Murder, right? And I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. The Chiaki eating, I left the beach house and headed over to Jaffa Walk Park where the unsettling arcade machine was placed. I never expected that person to be waiting here. Nagito. Hello there. Well, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito! <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, well there's no need to worry about a loser like huh. me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mahiru got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. <clears throat> she was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk her to be killed. If only I could have taken her place. I would have gladly done. Amazing! But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for my here. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. As usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about my hero? Now, now. You don't have to make this scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. <laughs> it's Monami! It's, it was me. Why did you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um... Did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along. And you know, cooperate. There's no way I'll get along. You know already. You already know what this guy... Kind of guy is, but fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Jimmy, you should forgive her. Monami is making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But now's not, not the time for friends to fight. There should only be a class tri trial for Mahiru, right? That's right. That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough. Enough already. You two go away already. <laughs> <laughs> Nagito, you two, who? Hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's no reason for me to be here. True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I will try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'll always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creeper he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey. Me, let's just move on and start the game. Right. I get a game over. Alright, start to ask Shocky if there's a walkthrough for this game. Can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm like I'm gonna repeat the second day and fourth day and then get a game over. So is there a walkthrough you can tell me about? Well, when you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Uh, what do you mean? Want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it. You know that thing that was displayed on the game over screen? That. Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you press down five times. And the kid in command is, yep. you have to press the down button five times, then you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. As expected, the ultimate game. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just either you get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Press 
down five times on the touch screen. All right, let's do it. with this specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of the pervert who snuck in the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered their body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, a tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, Girl E, gets murdered by someone. What in the world happened to this peaceful... This one's peaceful caddy. By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand. All answers you seek are hidden in the truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now let's get started with the first day when it all began. First day. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're going go home, home late because you had to wait for the sl wait for slope of girl A. Come on girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking pictures without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I I'm not your friend? What? Well, there's no way I ever be friends with a nasty trashy pig shit like you. <laughs> The way girl B treats people, even load sharks looking for to collect would get sick of her, to her stomach. <laughs> Is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit? Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know. Pervert's been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you. You might make the perfect prey. Stop it, girl A's getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. What's that sound? Sounds like glass breaking. Sounds like it came from the second girl. Let's go. at the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in here? Oh, that's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? If we use the key from the teacher's lounge, I can open the door, right? I'll go get to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. And then let's open it right away. Okay. Girl, you lead the way. Uh, me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Lay on the floor. This is. She's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible. Why? Yeah! But with your voice, they might still be nearby. N nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. M murdered? Uh huh. 
Seriously, shut up. What's going to happen if the killer noticed us? What should we do? What should I do? I see, so that's what happened. Found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route could be... The window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall. It was probably the window break. Someone's probably locked the music room door from the inside and after killing this girl, broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died. I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? If they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why they had to break it? They are probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer to use than using the hallway. But that is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you have to either lock it from the inside the music room or use the lounge key. When I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge, so the killer would have had time to return the key before they broke the window. The door could have been locked from the inside, that means the killer was inside the music Also, to get outside from the music hall, they need to get past by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anybody pass by, <clears throat> which means the killer's only escape route was this. Probably that pervert I heard, heard about. He's the one that snuck inside the school ground. The school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole the girl, he swimsuit. So murdered that girl over there. So I probably locked the music room so they could rape her. But she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away. The broke window and escaped. It isn't that, isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might get be around too. That's bad, uber bad. We better hurry up and run. But we don't have to report this to the police. Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the buy first. I definitely don't want that. It's best if we left this room. How are, how we found this shit just locked and leaves everything how it was. Hey, please wait, don't leave me here. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. What happened? I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next cl door classroom I was going home. I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think this, this broken face means? The sound we heard from the entrance wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I don't know anything about this face. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. There's something you're hiding from me. I want you to ask. I mean, we're friends, right? I didn't say anything either. I knew you know that girl who ki who got killed was tormenting you. No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she was supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girl, don't tell me that bitch thought she could do anything. She wanted to become your friend her family's influence. I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her, 
that bitch started talking shit about how she targeted me next time, so I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then I lost con she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so that's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault or yours. It's all her fault. Holy... Bitch, girly, was it? Where is she's with her on the day of the incident? Looks like she threw something away. What the hell is this photo? This face is... Could it be? The sound of breaking glass was actually this. It wasn't. Why did she try to secretly get rid of the... That bitch! What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. That bitch really did that. I will never, I will never forgive her. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth. It's in the first day and the third yep. day. Now that you're filled on all four events from day. The first day, the fourth day. Chalky, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um, I mean, girl A and girl B, their names make no sense. They have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. See? While you're talking, it looks like the ending staff role. Staff role. Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it properly. Wait just now. See? And I tell you, you want to know it's going to be on. Miracle! Yeah, con congratul miracle, congratulations. You've finally beaten Twilight and Syndrome Murder Game. <laughs> Not that you guys have played the game throughout the You should have already know. But that's right, this game is a non fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way, By the way non fiction means an original story based on historical facts or records. Hey, answer my question. But even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. And I can't believe yeah. A school life you no longer remember is studying for this day. Your school life? Isn't that anyway, congratulations. Now then, as for the game prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for yeah. But I won't give it to you. Any prize? There's only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad! It. <laughs> How disappointing. Did you say the ending prize? Mm. Like I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Aww. It was too late. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. The ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned he used our school lights at the setting of the game. Living our school lives and our memories are completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? What did they do to us? You... Looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Perhaps... Monokuba probably said the same thing, thing as everyone else who beat this game. This game is not fiction, because it's the missing link that exists in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe that it's motive or not, let's clear that a murder did that's the case, and I need to question them directly. If I do, I might be able to learn something. Mm -hmm. Talking about the people whose characters appeared in the game, right? And I'll go to. If I get some information from them, I might find out something. Is it behind Mahiru's death, and whether this game is true or not? If we really had our school life... Hey, hey! Let's hurry and ask the others. <laughs> and while we're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in a game. Leave it to me. If you want to gather your thoughts about the contents of the game, talk to me about it. I see. Thanks. That's huge help. Here they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Let's go.
Hello there. Hello, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. The, the perfect time. Who? We were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, oh, you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you're beating the game, we must thank Simon and Well, maybe I got a little too. A guy like me thinking similar to you guys. It's okay. Just make your point. Well. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? By the characters who played Twilight, who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigation, too. Be a waste of their time when we both question them now. Bye now. If you want to hear what they say, you should come with me. I'll go ahead and wait for you guys. Because the only thing we can do is go. Guess you're right. Hajime over here. Ikan Ibuki Hyoko are all here. Um, Names of the staff role for the Twilight Central murder case were Tsukumi, Kuzumi, Sayanji, Yodo, Siato, wow. Kazuriki. I really want to fool you, he could have come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. Oh, wow. It's okay to be to be absent. I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Execute? I mean, you said Monokuma has something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> a lie? Girl, you tricked us. What the? What the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you just wait until we finished our business with you, right, Hachime? It's like I'm, I'm on the same team as Nagito. I can't focus on that right now. I have to get the information from you. Hey, Buki, can I ask you something? Why? Great on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Aww. Well, it's, it's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Buki's a deaf girl. Tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity, except electric guitars. Pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you some one more thing. What's your relationship between you and my Hebrew? <laughs> you mean th that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Aww. Oh, well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was a. Mm, oh! Well, I asked Mahiru this morning to go to the beach with us. She, she made a real disappointed face. Disappointed face? I see. I yeah, see. but disappointment varies depending on the person Ibuki's associated with the part in the store rooftops. Let's stay focused on Mari. That's totally it! Turns out Mari here had some business too. She said she wanted to invite me to that and dead. She said something I was thinking about meeting with everyone. But if you already have plans, do you already know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, didn't ask. Let's see. I'm gonna invite Ibuki. Why? Do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? Um, no, since we said we weren't go going to play that game. Also, I don't re not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and pathetic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. Can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? Your relationship with Mahiru? Well. I first met her when we gathered at the classroom with everyone else. 
And after arriving this island, I did have a few conversations with her, but it could be did Mahiru ate me? Uh, that's it, she dated me. Oh, she doesn't know anything. What's more like she doesn't remember anything. And even though she hated me for her, she actually invited me. She must have been a kind person. Bye. But Mahiru invited me this morning. This morning. Serious, and she was wondering if we could meet up. Uh, she could discuss them. I, I actually had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I need to prepare for that. Then when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'd reschedule for another day. But if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. What? Are you revived me? Why? I see. Looks like we obtained some pretty valuable testimony based on that. Seems my hero is also beating the game. Why do you know that? You don't know? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game. She talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like like what we are doing right now. But still. But in her case, it's much more serious problem. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. It's true. Mm. I'm surprised I never thought Mahi would play that game. It's true, that's what I'm saying. So, didn't, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she, she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Why do you know? You tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. Tempt? That's a rude thing. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful towards Mahi. Isn't that right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she's already considered giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. But what the heck? Well... More importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hyoko. Hey. If Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hyoko... <laughs> she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So I'm going to go back to my cottage now. Hey, Hyoko! Ignoring my voice. But Yoko ran away. I thought it looks like it's a case to say she ran away. And she's clearly suspicious. That pretty much decided. Now then. This is the only part. There's something I need to Bye do. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Hey! Give me this exit. Let's push. Okay, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime. Let's go to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? Okay. We hmm? so might have that. Ah, the ending place. That's the place. I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Hmm. you can say yes. <laughs> Moving after he told, told us to, he took the race, so remembering his blood side is a huge no no. There's no. Our others weren't that big, too. Guess I should go inside. Compared to my room, this cottage is somewhat pleasant smell walking throughout the room. It proves Mahiru is here, but she's not coming back. Hmm? Try looking for a naughty buck. Why? Yep. No, 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 I was only kidding. Kidding? 
Are you that kind of person? Jeez. Well, at least I know I'm doing worse. Wait, that's the end of reasons. See? Looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out what's on top of the bed. Top of the bed. Sort of entrance. It's just like yep. the game. It was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight Student Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late, and Girl B tried to cheer up by taking her photo. Is this the photo she took? <gasps> Look at this photo too. Broken mm -hmm. face. after she got killed on the fourth day. Mm. There's no mistake, this is the photo of Girlie. Mm. This, we finished looking at all the photos. It's based on these photos, yep. it's seems pretty clear that this is the ending price. This is the price for being Twilight. But the pics in these books. There's that Twilight Center murder case is based on an actual murder. That's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.